Hi pals, it is intuitive at 12 here. <laughs> I'm not gonna call myself that, don't worry. This is Sarah, hello. I am the artist formerly known as Snail Mail Superstar. I am on sabbatical currently from running my stationery company, Constellation & Co. And I'm here on YouTube to talk about my sabbatical, to talk about my life, to talk about what I'm learning. Honestly, nothing's off the table right now. I just wanna talk about the things that I'm experiencing in this part of my life. And hopefully you lovely folks out there have been with me long enough or find me compelling enough to care about those things. Yes, that's why I'm here. So today I just wanted to talk quickly about the name change on my channel from Snail Mail Superstar to Intuitive Etoile. It's also a name change I made on Instagram. And while I thought about the change a lot, I didn't actually explain it. <laughs> I just did it, <laughs> which was not a great idea. So I thought I'd take like five minutes trying to make it short, probably won't be five, gonna make it short to just explain why I chose that name and why I'm gonna use it from now on. So as I said, my business name is Constellation & Co, which has an inherently star themed <laughs> um, vibe. I was using the name Snail Mail Superstar for a long time when I was talking primarily about stationery and greeting cards and letter writing and sending snail mail, which is still hugely in my heart. Um, but right now, because of the industry that I work in, which is greeting cards and stationery, and because of the issues that have been going on with the USPS for the last few years, and because of my ongoing anxiety, writing letters and even receiving letters <laughs> has become something that's been really sort of painful for me, which breaks my heart. Um, I know I'll get back to it, but leading up to my sabbatical, I knew that I needed to take a break um, because I had amassed a pile of mail that I wanted to read on camera and share with you because that's what I had been doing on YouTube for a couple of years. And when everything kind of fell apart in 2020 and I had to lay off my team and move my business home, I was working as many hours as I could work in a day and I didn't have any time for creating content or making videos. So the letters just kind of piled up and then I had a lot of like guilt and anxiety around opening them and reading them without sharing them and then even just opening and reading them. And then I kind of uh, felt a lot of anxiety around going to my PO box to receive them, which I'm working on. I am working on. I also had kind of a traumatic experience at the PO box at one point with someone like thinking I stole their parking spot and screaming at me and then pushing me as I went into the PO box building. So let's just say that the PO box feels a little fraught at the moment. Um, so it felt really wrong to call myself snail mail superstar because what I felt like was like snail mail fail. <laughs> oh boy. And Snail Mail Superstar didn't feel like it represented where I'm at right now on sabbatical and the life that I'm trying to create for myself and the art that I'm creating. It just didn't feel holistic enough for where I'm at right now. So in therapy a couple months ago, my therapist said that... <laughs> This feels very personal, but my therapist said that she felt that I had a gift for living an intuitive life. And it feels per like personal and embarrassing to share that because that is something that deep down I do feel like I'm always drawn to, but I struggle to see it as a benefit, as a pro instead of a con or a failure. And when I say intuitive life, I mean like listening to my body and my feelings and my like gut reaction and acting upon those things. And in my sabbatical, that's really like all the theme for me is listening to what my body is telling me and then being receptive to that and acting on that. So if I feel hungry, I stop what I'm doing and I go and I eat. If I feel tired, I stop what I'm doing and I go and I take a nap. 
If I feel like I want to read a book all day, I stop what I'm doing and I go and I read. And maybe not all day because that's not necessarily the most healthy thing for me either. But I do, I am trying to listen to what my body and my feelings are telling me and act upon those things. And that may seem really straightforward to some folks, but for me, part of why I got so burnt out and unhealthy was because I didn't do those things. I had trained myself not to listen to my body, but to push through and to keep working and to keep doing instead of letting my intuition lead. And I think some of that comes from a lot of things that I feel like too vulnerable to talk about right now. But some of it comes from being a ballet dancer for most of my life. Ballet is all about <laughs> overcoming your body's limitations and what your body is telling you and pushing yourself to be more flexible, to be more turned out, to have more stamina, to look like it's effortless, even though it is literally painful. <laughs> And that was what I gave my life to from like two years old to 18 years old. That was like my life was learning those skills and putting them to work. And when I quit ballet and went to art school, I very much did the same thing. And I would stay up all night to work on a project and I would skip meals because I needed to keep working and I would, you know, do those kinds of things all the time to try to excel at my education and at my future career. And then when I got out of college and started my business, um, or even before that, when I got out of college and had my first job, I was working in a company that was really abusive, frankly, that wouldn't let me take breaks if there was work to do. Like they would slap down a single piece of pizza on a paper plate in front of my computer and say, that's your dinner, keep working, you cannot go home. Um, and so when I started my business, I took all of those things I had learned and put them towards Constellation & Co and working exceptionally long hours and only drinking coffee and not eating meals and pushing my body beyond how long I felt I should be printing to finish projects, to take on more clients or to do more card designs. Um, pushing through panic attacks to continue to work, pushing through panic attacks to exhibit at the stationery show, pushing through panic attacks to move printing presses. And I was successful and I was praised. And I think that that's the thing I'm learning the most is that the things that were killing me were aspects of my personality and aspects of my learned skills that were most lauded, most praised, most made me the most successful. And I'm learning to reject them. I'm learning that being healthy is better than being deemed successful. Being healthy is better than getting a lot done. Being healthy and being happy are better than being admired. And I feel a certain amount of guilt for being a model of something that people looked to and thought, I want to be like that. And it was never the goal, but that's like, that's what social media does to us is as a business, I shared my business and enough of my life that lots of people have said, I have followed you for years and now I'm starting my business and I want to be just like you. Or how does she get all of that done? I don't know how she does so many things. And the answer is she didn't take breaks to eat meals. She didn't stop when her body said she was tired. I wrecked my neck and my back. I wrecked my mental health. I wrecked my marriage. And like, by God's grace alone, I still have a husband I love and a business that I can come back to and some semblance of like mental health. But 12 years into my career and running my business and all of it, I'm learning that I cannot live another 12 years 
doing things the way I've been doing. And this is a lot of information to share with you about a YouTube and Instagram name change. But basically, changing the name to Intuitive Etoile, which means like using your intuition, your gut sense, what you know to be true, what you feel deep down, and bringing that into real life. And Etoile is just the French word for star, because I knew something about it needed to be star related, space related to fit into all of these other things that I've done over the years. And because French was the language that I studied in high school and loved, and French was the language that was used in ballet, it feels it feels sort of right for it to be that word instead of just using the word star. <laughs> because star in English has all of these like weird connotations and the word étoile is really quite beautiful. <laughs> so that is why I'm calling myself intuitive étoile. I'm gonna try to just call myself Sarah <laughs> more often because that's a whole other thing that I started my business so I didn't have to show people my scant resume. And <laughs> I called myself snail mail superstar because I was feeling extremely low when I started my channel and wanted to call myself something that felt positive. <laughs> and so I'm hoping here with this channel and with the things that I'm sharing on my Instagram and, and, and here to share more of my intuitive life, to share more of what I feel real joy in doing, or I feel real, um, just feel the sharing the real stuff, the more of the struggles, more of the joys, more of the things that actually give me life instead of taking it away slowly or not so slowly. So again, I just am glad to be here. I can't talk for less than 10 minutes. That's apparently not a thing I can do. Apologies. Um, but if this is stuff that you're struggling with or thinking about, um, I'd love to talk about it in the comments. I plan to try to respond to every comment. Um, I want to have these conversations because I think that they're important and they're conversations I'm ready to have. So if you have something you'd like to share about your own life, how you've used your intuition and, and tapped into that to like listen to what your body is saying. Some of the ways I'm doing that are through yoga and meditation. I'm journaling every day. Um, I'm taking myself on artist dates, like through the, the artist way book, if you've read that one. Um, I'm really paying attention to what I'm eating and when I'm eating and how my body is feeling about those things that I'm eating. Um, yeah, there's a lot going on here, um, but I just wanted to share this little bit more with you about my sabbatical, about why I chose this name change. And I'm also trying not to edit these videos because I have realized that in the last era of creating videos that I was very tied to editing myself to take away any like misspeaking or ums or pauses and to make myself sound more put together than I really am. So I'm trying not to edit these one for time because I just, it takes so long and um, I don't feel up to like that much work right now. Um, but also because when I share this vulnerable stuff, I want to share it as I am and not as I would rather you believe that I am. <laughs> yes, I'm still putting on makeup to try to appear palatable, but we're gonna accept that makeup is a, a expression of my creativity, of um, care for myself and my body, um, and not as some kind of mask, because I am wearing makeup every day. I've been really enjoying that. That's been a way that I care for myself intuitively to feel as good on the outside as I want to feel on the inside. So, okay, now I'm really done. Now we're at 15 minutes. Good gracious. <laughs> I hope that you're well. Leave me a comment. Let's chat about all of this stuff and I'll see you soon.